Hey guys, welcome to question FM130 of the Further Maths Fortify Study Guide. So this question reads, the value of an investment in dollars after n years, i n, can be modelled by the recurrence relation i0 equals 51,000, i n plus 1 equals 1.008 times i n plus 2,500. The value of the investment after 5 years is closest to what? Now we've got a, a geometric and also a bit of geometric and a bit of uh, arithmetic happening in here. So we can't create an nth rule to jump straight to the, the, fifth, uh, the fifth iteration of this sequence. So let's go through each of uh, these. Well, you could use finance solver to solve a question like this um, if you're quite familiar with it. But here's just a breakdown of how you would do it uh, using the recurrence relation sort of method. Awesome. So if we were to try and find I1, we would take 1.008 times, so if, this, if our I n plus one is I1, and we take an I0, then that's gonna be 51,000 in here, plus 2,500. Plugging that into a calculator is gonna give you an answer of 53,908. Now, moving on to the next one. Plugging that 53,000 that we've just found into our recurrence relation to find I2. 53,908 plus 2,500. Plugging that into a calculator is going to give us 56,839. Now I've rounded to two decimal places here guys, but if you're using a calculator, make sure that you're keeping the full amount, the full three decimals that come up uh, in each of your sequences and each, each, each time you calculate a new value of i make sure that you're using the fullest most accurate version of the number i just want to save space on this whiteboard so 1.008 times whatever that number was you had before um, i'm just going to drop it in as the two decimal version plus 2500 and that full amount in there should end up giving you something along the lines of 59,793.98. Going through the motions again, taking our value of I3 to find I4, 59,793.98 plus 2,500 is going to give us a right here of 62. 772.33, so $62,772.33. And now for the final step, we go 1.008 times our number from before. That's gonna give us a final answer that rounds to 65,000. $774.51. Cool, which is of course option A. Now if you were to use, for example, if you were to use rounded figures the entire way through, you might, you're probably only gonna be one or two cents off this final answer and it'll still work. Um, but for safety's sake, I would recommend using, of course I've rounded to two decimal places in each of these. If you were to keep the actual numbers, they would get to uh, far more decimal places uh, and I'd recommend using those as opposed to rounded figures when doing your working. Guys, if you have any questions on how I got this answer, please drop them in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.